गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू न्यू एडिशन ऑफ कोटक सिक्योरिटीज वेबिनार ओवर द इयर्स वी कंटिन्यू टू डू वेबिनार्स विद ऑल आवर क्लाइंट्स टू गिव यू इनसाइट ऑन आवर रिसर्च ऑन आवर स्टेटमेंट्स बट दिस टाइम वी थॉट प्रॉबिबली वील डू इट समथिंग डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आवर डेरेटिवेटिव ट्रेडर्स uh clients uh, who trade with us on the options and derivative segment uh this is a new feature that we have recently launched uh, called uh, payoff analyzer and uh, before i introduce my colleague arup uh, to all of you also wanted to share a couple of things that which happened which have happened recently rather today uh as you would all know uh, many of people who have joined the webinar are our clients uh, uh we had a brokerage plan called trade free plan this plan for was for clients uh, who wanted to do intraday trading more thereafter we launched a plan called uh, no brokerage plan so we have made some changes in our plans uh, of late uh, what we have done is uh, we have segregated this plan into two parts one is for clients under the age of 30 and second is for clients above the age of 30 so all clients above the age of 30 continue to get will continue to get uh, the trade free plan the trade free plan broadly is a plan where intraday brokerages are zero we thereafter launched the no brokerage plan which we have now uh, renamed as trade free youth plan this plan will now be available uh, to customers under the age of 30 rather to customers under the age of 30 will now get only this plan two years into this plan this plan will automatically get upgraded uh, or changed to a uh, trade free plan so what is this trade free youth plan uh, earlier we used to charge a fee of 499 along with gst it used to come to about 584 585 we have brought this fee down to 299 so all uh, clients who are under the age of 30 can now use the trade free youth plan so anybody effective today who goes on to our website or any other banner and chooses to open an account with kotak securities he will be able to open the trade free youth plan which comes at a price of 299 and there is no brokerage for a period of 1 year this plan thereafter will get renewed for one additional year but that will be at a price of 499 which is our regular price which it used to be so 299 technically is a first year promotional offer where we have brought the price down from 499 plus gst 584 to 299 all inclusive so 299 and you don't have to pay any brokerage for the year first year second year the price will be 499 or rather 584 and no charges again and from the third year the client will be shifted to the trade free plan so just wanted to share this with you it's a new development which happened today uh and now coming back to the reason why we are having this webinar um uh, i introduce to you um, my colleague uh, arup choudhary can we have arup on the screen please hi ashish sir thank you for having me yes hi arup how are you so arup uh, just to give you a little bit background of arup arup is part of our product team uh, arup has been uh, our loop rather was a, a prop trader a proprietary trader who used to do trading in uh, options for uh, uh, many years in his career uh, he joined us about a couple of years back and now spearheads the derivative uh, rather the the derivative and cash product for us uh, so arup um, over to you what is this um, uh, payoff analyzer uh, firstly thank you for the kind words sir uh, uh... I'm very happy to be here. Uh, but yeah, let's just jump right in. I'll just share my screen uh, so we sure, can, you know, sure. uh, have everyone, you know, some idea of it. So payoff and a lot of people, right? Um, they trade options, but have difficulty in understanding uh, what th- how things will act over the course of the market, right? Risk is one of the most important factors to be in control of while trading options. a uh, payoff analyzer is our effort in the sense of helping cl- customers under- understand their risk across different market scenarios uh, there are two ways to get to payoff analyzer first one is you go to uh, the open positions and uh, you can see next to the search tab there is a tab called analyze 
you simply click on the analyze tab and the payoff analyzer opens uh, we are calling it one touch which will eventually expand into a full fledged options trading platform uh, but right now we just launched a uh, payoff analyzer so as you can see uh, whatever are my open positions they start showing up here now i had a nifty position and a tech em position so i can see both those uh, both those scripts underlines at the top when i click on the search tab uh i can select techm and the techm trade will get selected i can again click there switch to nifty and nifty get will get selected i can even uh click on the drop down and choose to select uh, uh, some trades and not all of them and the, all the numbers on this payoff analyzer will get selected so that's the basic uh, journey of uh, you know uh, the getting to the payoff analyzer i'll be happy so to jump in and Arup, I'm really sorry. I will. I will kind of keep coming in in between, just for the sake of all our clients to understand. What you are just trying to say is, if you have got four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty positions, you can choose the set of positions that you want to analyze, click them, and find the payoff table for those set of positions. Am I right? Yes, sir. All of your derivative positions can be analyzed, including futures. Okay, understood. We can move ahead. Sure. Uh, similarly, there's another way of getting here, uh, which is through basket orders. So when you go to the basket, uh, when you go to the option chain, right? I can long press on this, uh, the on the option chain, and it enables uh, adding orders to basket. So I can simply add multiple trades, uh, add to basket. Now these trades have gotten added. uh i can again click on analyze at the top over here and again uh, it will populate with all the four trades selected now the good thing here is uh, it takes the ltp uh, but if i want to edit i can even edit the ltps from here i can in price put uh, maybe instead of 490 put 5.1 uh, here i can put uh, you know 2 rupees and here i can put 14 and sorry four here now when i analyze uh, it will show me the analysis uh, at those prices so i can even understand what will be the analysis for that, those prices uh now the first thing to notice here is your four uh, or rather eight important metrics uh, which are your max profit max loss break evens risk reward and the greeks delta theta vega and gamma uh max profit is essentially what will be your what is what is your maximum possible profit in this trade or rather across all of these trades combined max loss is what is your maximum possible loss across all of these uh, trades combined break even is the price at which your uh, strategy reaches zero uh, zero in pnl so if, if you see here right now in the graph uh, right now it's in the positive but if at at this at these points it start reaches break even and then again at these points which are the two breaking 17424 and 17876 risk reward in this case is not applicable because risk reward is simply your uh, max loss divided by max profit max profit in this case is unlimited so it's not defined but were the uh, profit were to be defined let me take another position and i'll simply show it. so right now in this case since the max loss is 8.72 lakhs and uh, the max profit is 3393 then you see the max reward of 256.92 then your greeks uh, i hope you are familiar with greeks but uh, in case you aren't uh, greeks are essentially your uh, parameters or sort of your dashboard for trading options they are very very important uh, i keep giving this example to friends uh, basically when everyone loves to uh, drive a go karting uh, car and there's no dashboard or uh, you know meter or reading or you know speedometer on it but when you are driving say a car or even a formula 1 car for that matter uh, since especially options are so complicated and risky instrument uh, you need all the available information to you and greeks are the ones uh, which tell you how your position will change according to market uh and that is delta is basically how your underlying as in how what will be the change in your pnl with for one unit underlying change uh theta is what will be your uh, 
you will change for one day change assuming all everything else is constant so vega is what will be your pnl change with one uh, percent iv change and gamma is uh, the rate of change of delta then we come down and we see the graph uh, you can drag and drop uh, or click across the graph and it will you know give you the payoff at various Arun, i am really sorry to interrupt you there is a small uh, query which has come from a couple of clients saying can the dark mode be changed to the normal white mode is it possible for you to change yes sir yes sir i'll just change it uh, sorry about that uh one second the dark theme yeah so probably so nothing yeah nothing changes in the functionality but yeah we have the uh, light theme hope this is uh, easier to read and view right so yes yeah, uh, coming back to the graph you can drag the cursor up along the graph graph line and uh, you can also click at various points to see how it reacts uh, i for one ashish i don't know about you but i prefer a tabular prompt to graphs so we have kept a pnl table uh, and you can see the payoff on target date and on expiry across different price points so if on target date assuming in this case the target date is today so then your pnl table is something what will look like if today was the expiry this is what your pnl table would look like at different price points same way on expiry this is what your pnl table will look like uh, we've also given greeks at a total level and an individual strike level so you can understand and see uh, how your individual strikes will behave and you know take a more educated call uh, we've also added a couple of uh, functionalities where you some people want to see payoff against price but some prefer to see payoff against time like if i sold out of the money option so how will my uh, time value come to me how will my theta decay happen so this gives a graph across uh, across time you can similarly see the time uh, pnl table across time and so date by base uh, basis you will see what is the pnl uh, on target date and on expiry similarly we can change this to payoff versus iv and your graph changes again and again for iv at every 5 Uh, IV interval, you'll see what your PNL is like. So these are very helpful features. Um, I can also edit the Nifty target to see what the payoff will be like. So I can click on this and say, uh, sorry, click on this and say seventeen seven hundred, uh, and it will adjust uh, the PNL, and I will see what at seventeen seven hundred how my graph looks like. I can also drag the uh, the Nifty target, and my PNL will keep changing. Sorry, I should do this, and the PNL graph adjusts instantly. Similarly, I can change the target date. So now, currently, since this is a twenty fifth expiry trade, I can only uh, change to twenty fifth. But I can always, if I took a farther expiry, I could always change it to first date, whatever, any date before the expiry. And basically, the graph will again adjust. Uh, Again, adjust to assuming today's expiry and what it would look like. So, Rupin, in so, short, you can play with the graph, you can play with the numbers, yes. You can play yes. with time, you can play with IV, and you can uh, yeah. kind of try to estimate what is the kind of loss or profit you will have on a specific yeah. date at any point of time and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Yes, I think it's a very good tool to help people, especially beginners. Not even not just beginners, even advanced people to have a. Sort of a hold on their trades and see what how what will change. Uh, see if there is an uh, RBI Fed uh, meet policy meet, right, or a Fed policy meet, and you know there's a rate cut expected. But what if a surprise happens and there's a rate increase, right? So you can always uh, make some assumptions what the IV will jump by. So you can use this IV offset. You can uh, put a target on Nifty, change it down, and then your graph will adjust accordingly, and you can see what your positions would be like. tomorrow or rather at the point of time you want to imagine so it's a very helpful tool from that angle sure uh, so arup you gave us an example of nifty my question to you is uh, does this uh, even i believe nifty bank nifty will definitely be there uh, does it allow fin nifty as well yeah yeah all equity derivative scripts will work including stocks Uh, I haven't added Fin Nifty, but I can just add it and show it to you. Uh, 
So, uh, Arup, you could just give an example of a straddle or a strangle, which generally people try and uh, trade with. Most of the people try and trade with. Just one small example of a probably a straddle. Uh, yeah. So again, long pressing on the option chain. This is how you add uh, basket orders. So currently the ATM is 18,000. So I'm selling a 17,500 put and 18,500 call, which uh, sorry, which is a strangle. Uh, I'll just go to add to the basket, go to fin nifty, change to sell, go to analyze. So now by default, it picks Nifty uh, because most people trade in Nifty, but I can always click on it and have all the positions. So I click on Fin Nifty and both the trades are selected. This is your uh, selling or Strangle. Now Strangle has a maximum loss of unlimited. That's why it's showing unlimited, but max profit of 1762, uh, which in this case is your total time value, uh, what you've sold at. Uh, these are the two legs that I selected, 17500 put and 18500 call. And all the metrics are the same. Now, PNL table again, I can view and see at every 100 points, uh, how does it change, right? 18,000 was at uh, where I sold it. So, on expiry, this is my basically if it expires at current level, this is my PNL, how it will change. So, it also gives the break even after be <clears throat> below 17,500 is where you start making the loss, and on the upside, 18,500 will be the level. So, uh, it yes. comes out very clearly. Okay. Yes. Can you just explain target date on expiry a little bit? Sure. So on target date and on expiry are basically on target date assumes and there's a target date here below on target date assumes that that date is the expiry and on expiry is everything remained constant between now and expiry what money you would make. So here in on uh, target date, I've kept it today. So this will assume that if today was the expiry, you would make three, a loss of 3941.2. But on expiry, if everything remained the same at this level, you would actually make 1762. That is how uh, on target date and on expiry work. Mm -hmm. Arup, uh, is it only equity derivative or currency and commodities are also available for an analysis? Uh, they are not right now, but we are working on it. They're coming very soon. We should have them in a, uh, in a month or two. I have Both a question. Is it, is it available only on the... KST app that you are currently showing or is it available on other platforms uh, as well? So uh, right now, yes, it is only available on Kotak Stock Trader app. Uh, we are coming soon on web as well as Neo, the Kotak Neo app and it should be available uh, really soon. So Arup again, coming back, uh, there's one question which I also see. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm just in between just asking you questions. So this is on straddle. What about a calendar spread? If somebody creates a calendar spread, uh, will this tool be able to analyze the PNL uh, there as well? And how will it work? Actually, a very good question, Ashish. Uh, I didn't anticipate you asking this. Uh, but yeah, calendar spreads are slightly tricky. Uh, you need to make certain assumptions to come up with this analysis. The assumption we make in calendar spreads is that the nearest expiry is taken as expiry because your on expiry uh, changes, right? Because there are two expiries. So it, yes, it works on calendar uh, trades as well. Uh, just that it assumes the nearest expiry to be the expiry for all trades. Because anyways, okay. after that one leg will become expired. So your position will become open. So that is not the right analysis if we showed you another leg only for that. So nearest with the assumption of nearest expiry as the expiry, uh, calendar spreads also can be analyzed. Understood, understood. So, uh, Arup, anything else that you would want to add? Otherwise, I will take a few questions from the cust from customers who, have, who I can see. Uh, I think let's so go for that. It will be uh, uh, more interesting sure. than listening to to, to a first speaking sure, all the time. Sure, sure. So, the first question is, when is it going to be available on Nest? So, um, Arup, anything about Nest? Uh, we haven't integrated on the Neo platform yet, but it should be available very soon on Neo, uh, maybe a few months, but uh, I don't have a timeline to share yet. But yes, we are working on going live on the Neo ecosystem soon. And uh, we can think about giving it on Nest as well, uh, subject to obviously uh, 
how it pans out but it will go first live on the neo mobile and web right aru i don't know why but i think lot of clients still continue to complain about the clarity of the tool uh, i think we'll have to work on it before we and we do the next webinar uh yeah. there is a, one more question that i see is that uh, is this the only tool that you will bring in or there are uh, something some other features which we can expect uh, going forward yeah yeah so the and this is a tool which is built by uh, and actually i take a lot of pride in saying this by the design team the engineering team as well as the product team all of them are ex traders so we will not stop at this this is just the tip of the iceberg there are a lot of interesting and exciting things planned which are not available with competition and some even not in the industry and it will take time but this is just the start and we calling this platform one touch and yeah long way to go and lot of features planned and we'll start sharing things uh, the next next quick update that is coming in we'll start for stock options when you are analyzing stock options you start seeing the net delivery position should the on expiry or if you have any in the money positions so say suppose you bought a call and if it expires in the money and you sold a future or a put or whatever the combination what would be the net deliverable quantity you will start seeing that you will also be able to see uh, view margin required for all these trades together uh, we are also adding uh, a very highly requested feature called probability of profit uh, ivp which is uh, implied volatility percentile so all of these things are coming soon in the next couple of weeks uh, and then we'll start building on bigger features outside of the pay of analyzer as well sure um there's a question which says i see this is similar to sensible some functions of saving these pay off graphs is in case you have uh, deployed more than one strategy instead of selecting in basket order so it's saying that um, is there any functionality of uh, saving these pay off graphs uh, not yet but that's great feedback uh, we'll work on that and we'll uh, try to incorporate uh, this functionality of saving uh, this pay off graphs Okay one more question is is this uh, available for back testing uh the back testing bit is not built yet but yes that is also under works uh, some time away though fair, fair some time away fair amount of time away uh again there are a lot of questions about whether this will be available on kotak web kit pro so um, I, i think you have already replied to this earlier that uh, this will come on other platforms as well in a graded yes, manner to start with it is only kst but it will come yeah. on across all platforms of kotak securities over a period of time yes, so uh, that is answered uh, um, uh, i'm just looking at a few any other questions uh, on the on the um, there are there is a re- request uh, roop uh, which says can you add greeks to the option chain so uh, is there a possibility of doing that uh, we are working on an option chain and again uh, as i mentioned earlier we are trying to do it a different way from how everyone else has imagined the option chain uh, it will be going live within a month uh, so it is coming soon where you will have greeks also available as well as a different uh, option chain than what everyone is used to to be more trader friendly like i said the design product and engineering all teams are built are ex traders so they we wrapped our brains together on how to simplify this for traders so yeah uh, thing people will really like us uh, after that okay right arup i think uh, that is broadly uh, what was there on the question section i um, sincerely apologize uh, because i can clearly see from the comments that lot of our clients are not able to uh, look at the screen very clearly uh, i apologize for that i think in the future webinars we will make sure that uh, we find a solution to this uh, but i can hope that you all would have got a sense of the tool i would want you to try this tool and uh, if you have any queries you can connect with us uh, through the customer service or you can also connect with us on our twitter handle 
Actually, so sir, just say, let me uh, just sure. to add. Uh, yes. We've also created a new uh, email address, options. dot feedback at kotak. dot com, and you can send all your options derivatives related feedback, not just for payoff analyzer, but in general any feedback queries. Uh, to options. dot feedback at kotak. dot com. Options. dot feedback at kotak. dot com. Yes. Right. Right, Arup. I think uh, while we had kept a uh, longer time, uh, it so seems uh, that uh, probably the screen quality has hampered a lot of clients to uh, kind of look at the presentation. Uh, we'll try to make sure that this doesn't happen again for sure. Uh, so there are there are a couple of other questions, Arup. I will I'll try and take those as well. A couple of them have come. Where we can check the overall theta of of open positions? Yeah. So once you come again, uh, let me just go to open positions. It will be easier. Uh, so these are my open positions in this case. Uh, I click on analyze, and right now it's picked all the Nifty. So the theta is here. Uh, if you want to see for techm then the theta is here i think what the user is asking for combined for all positions uh, yes but uh, so i can do a time value you can't see theta you can't start adding greeks across positions because delta for a nifty and delta for techm is uh, is different what we can think about is showing time value across all positions together i i will take that feedback and we'll we'll work on it definitely Okay. The next question is: uh, uh, You can have multiple small videos for all features. I think uh, the fair suggestion we can have probably a video uploaded on uh, on the site on how this tool works. So Arup, we can work on that as well. Yeah. Uh, We're launching videos soon, and as well as a landing page to explain all the features. So you can also read about it. Videos are also ready. They should be going live sometime this week or so. Yeah. uh screen is not visible where to send feedback regarding nest and other softwares so ajay um, uh, i see your question i think uh, the option id which arup just gave you options dot feedback at uh, kotak dot com is the one that you can use to send uh, feedback on the platforms as well i uh, will work on it uh, this uh, site is run by the product team and we will make sure that your queries are addressed there as well Uh, can we have a pay for of analyzer on the laptop? Means um, so a web view, right? That's right. Yes, yes, that is also on the way. Uh, please try strategy chart also similar to Obstra. So there's a comment saying that there's something called a strategy chart. So Arup, probably we can look at that as well. And yes, sir, in the work. In the work. Yes. Okay, you're working on it. Yes, sir. Should come okay. soon. Okay, understood. So, Arup, with this, I think uh, we are through with the questions. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I really apologize once again for the quality of um, screen that you probably most of you were not be able to see. We'll make sure we amend this and uh, uh, don't have this problem next time around. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, uh, sparing your time and uh, joining us for this webinar. Thank you, Arup, and um, you, looking forward to seeing you in the next webinar. Thank you everyone thank you very much thank you